All right, so we're we're standing uh, in a in our office overlooking the Hudson River, and you can see it's got ice flows. And I'm with Dixon de Pommier, and he's right. going to explain what these are. So what these are are um, floating ice. Are you not being able to talk today, Dixon? That's right. I'm going to have a tough time on TWIP. What you're looking at is called pancake ice because the ice that freezes on the surface of a river that also has a ton of salt water underneath it, but it rained recently, so the top surface of the water is still fresh, is you're looking at the eventual contiguous melting, or freezing rather, of the entire surface of the Hudson River. And if you look up further from the bridge at George Washington Bridge, you can see, you can't see it from here, but we can see it crossing the bridge today. The upper reaches of the Hudson River, as far up as you can see, is frozen all the way across. You know, there's the George Washington Bridge. Correct. So now, these, these ice pancakes are floating downstream. They right? are, because the tide is going, the, not just the tide is going out, the river always flows in that direction, okay? That's the constant flow of the river. I but see. because it's tidal, at this point, it's estuarian, this afternoon you will see the ice flows going in the opposite direction. Oh, well, we'll have to include that, right? I think so. Now, so every six hours, the tide changes, right? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Dixon. Mm. All right, Dixon, it is now two hours later. Correct. And the pattern we are seeing now is that the ice, first of all, there's more ice. There is. The ice in the middle has stopped moving. Barely. Yeah, I see a little bit of movement, but you're right. It, essentially, it stopped. And the ice near the coast is moving upwards. I think you could just barely see that slow motion. You can. Now, there's a sewage treatment plant south of here. That's right. Let's see if we can catch that on the One video. One of the here. largest sewage treatment plants in the world. In there it the is United sticking States. out into the river. And it discharges effluent that it's treated yes. into the Hudson River. And what you might be looking at, although I'm not sure, is a I flow see. of the effluent upstream giving motion to the pancake ice. That Otherwise it would just be sitting there. That's correct. So the, the uh, flow of the water out downstream has stopped. Correct. Is that normal? Well, it's only normal when there hasn't been a lot of rain, and most of the water column is salt, because the ocean fills up the gaps. So the, the river essentially looks as though it's at the same level no matter what. And if there's been a lot of rain, then the top layer is fresh water. And if it hasn't been a lot of rain, then the top layer is all salt coming in from the ocean. All right, so how long will it remain static like this? Uh, for another about an hour, and then the tide will start moving up the river. Oh, well, let's catch that. So, Dixon, what time is it now? It's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. And what's happening here? Well, the tide has changed. And now the entire river surface is flowing upstream. Yeah, it may be hard to see, but... It's flowing north. It is. So we caught the tide change. We did. Otherwise, it could be 12 hours and this you wouldn't catch true. it, right? That is exactly right. Depending on what day. You got it. So the ice flows will go back up the river tonight. Yeah. Notice that along the shoreline now, the flow has stopped. Do you see that? I do. It's not going anywhere. So there's about, I guess, a 50-foot so effluent area of stop. coming out of the plant might have been the reason why it was flowing before. The effluent would tend to go along the shoreline? It would go north. They, uh, they empty it. Mm -hmm. that side of the building. And so, yeah, you can see now that in interior, the ice is yeah, moving the up. The river, yeah. it's going up. Looks like a little more packed than before also. Well, it's starting to accrete because it's still cold out there. Accrete means come together? Yes. And is it going to form one big sheet tonight when it freezes? If it stays at this temperature, you bet it will. I've seen the river like that already. Has the river ever been frozen over so that you of could course. walk across it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But there's too much, there's a lot of motion in the water here, so it tends to break it up. All right? If you go further north, above um, Nyack, the river gets really thick sometimes. And there's a wonderful story called Winter's Tale by John Halpern. It's a takeoff on uh, mythology. And it describes the Hudson River as being completely frozen. People are out skating on it and having parties and ice fishing and all kinds of other stuff. Thank you for your insight, Dixon. You're very welcome, Vincent. Mm -hmm.